the deaerator, the condensate and feed water system. The deaerator is part of the condensate and feed water system, which in turn is part of the steam and water circuits of a thermal power plant. The steam and water circuits. Inside the thermal power plant, the steam and water system forms a closed loop with the water leaving the condenser being fed back to the feed pumps for reuse in the boiler. However, certain other equipments of plant now become involved because the water leaving the condenser is cold and contains entrained air which must be removed. request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe air becomes entrained in the water system at a start up when the various vessels are initially empty and it will appear during normal operation when it leaks in at those parts of the cycle which operate below atmospheric pressure such as the condenser, extraction pumps and LP feed heaters. Here in this diagram, we are showing the extraction pump and the condenser. Leakage can occur in these areas at flanges and at the ceiling glands of the rotating shafts of the pumps. Air entrainment is added by two facts. One is that cold water can hold greater amounts of oxygen and other dissolved gases than can warm water. And the other is that the low pressure parts of the cycle must necessarily correspond with the low temperature phases. The presence of residual oxygen in the feed water supply of a boiler or HRSG heat recovery steam generator is highly undesirable because it will cause corrosion of the boiler pipe works particularly at welds, cold worked sections and surface discontinuities greatly reducing the serviceable life span of the plant. For this reason great attention must be paid to its removal. Removal of dissolved oxygen is performed in several ways and an important contributor to this process is the deaerator which is shown in figure located between the condenser 
एक्सट्रैक्शन पंप एंड द बॉयलर फीड पंप here the detailed diagram of the deaerator is shown the deaerator the deaerator removes dissolved gases by vigorously boiling the water and agitating it a process referred to as stripping one type of deaerator is shown in the attached figure in this the water entering at the top is mixed with steam which is rising upwards the steam taken directly from the boiler or from an extraction point on the turbine heats a stack of metal trays and as the water cascades down past these it mixes with the steam and becomes agitated releasing the entrained gases the steam pressurizes the deaerator and its contents so that the dissolved gases are vented to the atmosphere minimizing corrosion requires the feed water oxygen concentration to be maintained below 0.005 parts per million or less and although the deaerator provides an effective method of removing the bulk of entrained gases it cannot reduce the concentration below about 0.007 parts per million for this reason scavenging chemicals are added to remove the last traces of oxygen we shall discuss about the scavenging chemicals in some other lecture